улица химиков No benefit. Ukrainian military spoke about problems with Leopard, Abrams and Bradley. The benefit of German Leopard tanks in Ukraine turned out to be zero. They are short-lived. This is due to Russian dominance in the air. The Spanish publication El País wrote about this, citing its sources in the Ukrainian special services. According to the military, Leopard and Abrams tanks suffer significant damage from Russian drones because these armoured vehicles lack sufficient short-range anti-aircraft defence. Armoured infantry vehicles from the US Bradley are described by the Ukrainian military as old vehicles already in use that last at the front in Ukraine for only a few months. According to a source for El País, in one of the companies of the 47th Brigade, out of 11 such infantry fighting vehicles, there are only three left, and another Bradley infantry fighting vehicle was sent for repairs because its starter stopped working. Western howitzers supplied from the EU are losing the necessary accuracy due to intensive use, and most of them have run out of ammunition. The 47th Brigade is reported to have lost 30% of its soldiers in the last three months as under pressure from the political leadership and international allies, Ukraine needed urgent results at the front and the army embarked on a near suicidal operation without air control and against very strong Russian defences. The military said that now for every armoured vehicle of the Ukrainian armed forces, there are 10 Russian infantry vehicles. For every Ukrainian soldier defending in the Avdiivka area, there are 30 Russians going on the assault. I know one company of 80 soldiers, which lost 65 people in a week. Previously, for every Ukrainian soldier who left the battlefield wounded or killed, there were three Russian ones. Now we are almost equal in losses, stated the source of the publication. Recently, Foreign Affairs wrote that of the Leopard 2 tanks transferred to Ukraine, a third have already been knocked out, the rest are not operational. Also, the Ukrainian military in an interview with CNN said that Bradley infantry fighting vehicles do not withstand frosts well, but they provide high firepower. Elon Musk warns civil war in Western countries will start anyway, whether we want it or not. Increasing internal political contradictions, conflicts on religious and ethnic grounds, problems with migrants can lead not only to new mass protests and clashes with the police, but also cause large-scale civil wars in Western countries. American entrepreneur Elon Musk made such a rather gloomy forecast on his social network account, commenting on the publication of Canadian professor Gad Saad, in which the scientist warned that the migration policy adopted in the West would result in the beginning of a civil war. Musk, as always, succinctly wrote, the war will start anyway, whether we want it or not. Earlier, the European Parliament, after almost 10 years of discussions and agreements, adopted a new pact regarding the migration policy of the European Union. The document turned out to be very controversial and once again emphasised disagreements on this issue both in the political elites of the EU countries and in society. On the one hand, the pact provides for tougher immigration laws. 
In particular, new rules are being established that provide for increased control at external borders and faster procedures for the expulsion of those who do not have the right to be on the territory of the Union. At the same time, the reform provides for a more equitable distribution of migrants across different EU countries, which should reduce the burden on the so-called first-line states that suffer most from the influx of migrants. However, not everyone in the European Union agrees with the new rules. Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and External Economic Relations Peter Siato said Budapest will not allow in illegal migrants despite the new pact. Supporters of the law, who campaigned for its passage amid the rise of the far right ahead of European Parliament elections in June, hailed the move as a major victory. In contrast, European non-profit human rights organizations have called the sweeping changes to EU migration legislation a step backwards for human rights.